fun so I'll blow gear going. Well guys, today we've got this uh, olive forest which we're gonna do a bit of a repot on. So we're gonna repot this tree and get it into something different. I don't mind the blue pot. Um, looks alright. So I'll put this forest together. I'm not sure how long ago. I will look it up and let you guys know. But it was in this, I know it was when I was in this property, so it's probably only two years ago, maybe a year and a half, that I put it into this pot. So it's uh, pretty cool how many trees that I did fit in. If you go back and look at that video, it's a pretty cool video, so just go watch it. I managed to fit a lot of trees, a lot of ordinary trees, I'll sh I should say. I managed to fit a lot of ordinary trees into one single pot and really happy with how it turned out because I wasn't really happy with any of the trees on their own I thought you know what let's bung them all together and see if we can make something out of it so ended up making this um, olive forest and really happy with how it turned out so now I'm going to put it into a different pot and if any of you guys have been following me and watching me or looking at Facebook, maybe you'll know what pot I have in mind. But anyway, I'll give it a spin now how it is. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I can imagine myself, you know, in the middle of this forest in here and just rolling out my swag, setting up a campfire, and just, you know, having a, having a good time and then going to bed. I can imagine that. I can imagine looking up in the canopy of the trees. It's pretty cool. I will give you guys a look at that later. Uh, I'll bring the camera in close and give you guys a look up into the tree. It looks really cool. Or trees, I should say. Um, I do have some scale in this as well, so, you know, that's all right. We'll sort that out. I have given it one treatment. I'm just picking off the ones that I do see. But yeah, so basically we're gonna repot it into a pot. And first, right now, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna hose off the old root system. And when I come back, I'll be able to tell you when I did do this, Repotting. Um, when I did, you have a look, and I called this a grandpa tree, and the grandpa was having a soup. Didn't like sharing all his room with the uh, kids around him and the mum and dad, and he was starting to look pretty yellow, pretty sick. But he's coming along better. He is naturally a yellower tree. The granddad at the front here, granddad's actually. 40 years old in a pot. He's been growing 40 years. I got it from a deceased estate, someone that couldn't look after it anymore. Sold them on. Um, deceased estate. And then I just, you know, I had him as a main tree on his own and then I had to mingle him with all these other trees and he's just had to learn to get along and he's looking healthier and healthier for an old bloke. We've got dad in the back here, this one here, We've got mum in the front here, and then you've got all the little grandkids around causing trouble, a bit of a teenager in the back here, and granddad, well, he's standing up nice and tall and proud now, he's learned to get along with his family, so good on your granddad, he's starting to accept it, mate. And it's a bit of a birthday, we're going to give you guys a bit more room to grow because you guys really did struggle to fit into this pot and I really did cram his in. So, you know, it's like having six people sleep in a double bed. <laughs> and anyway, let's get to it. So, first of all, did I wire any of these trees in? I don't think I did. Let's have a look. Just make sure I am filming. Yep. All right, let's bring you up a bit closer. All right, let's, let's see whether we wired this in. 
Just tilt it back. Nah, so I've got some screens in the bottom. But we haven't wired it in. So let's see how she pulls out. I'll, I won't pull on Grandad because he's old and precious. Bit of an arrogant old bugger. Let's just lift out the whole thing. Okay, so you can see there's a good amount of roots in there. There's the pot, the screens in the bottom. But I will say one thing, even though I've put it into a pretty small pot, I haven't been completely filled. There is still some spots, although generally the root system is pretty well everywhere. There is still a bit of soil that, that, that it could have filled, so... If I wasn't impatient, I probably could have left it in there another two years. Looking at that, probably another two years. But we'll repot it today, just because we want to. So I'm going to take it outside, wash out the roots pretty hard. Um, at least on the surface, not so much the sides, because it's going into a bigger pot. So I'm not going to be cutting any roots off. I'm going to keep every single root that I've got here that's good. I'm just going to wash out the top with some high pressure hose, get rid of the moss around the bases, and then I'll re-moss it later at a different height, because some of this moss has really grown up around some of the trunks, especially on Grandad here. And we'll re-moss it, you know, re-moss it when we put it all back together in its new pot. So I'll just go and wash it out, and see how we go. Okay guys, so I had a bit of a look, two and a half years ago we put this uh, olive forest together. I've washed it out, you can see there's good roots down the bottom. Pretty good roots at the top. Um, I'm going to be cutting a few of the surface roots off, which have probably grown due to the fact that I had moss and stuff covering it. So they love roots. Roots love to grow up into the moss layer, which just proves how good for a tree the moss is. And you know, there's people that say it wrecks your bark and stuff. And I guess it does, but if you have a look at this, you've still got really old bark here on this 45 year old tree here but yeah two and a half years since this was done and i tell you what it could probably go another two and a half years fine without being repotted so you know it gives me a bit of a reference to next time so i'll repot this now and you probably won't see me repot this tree for another five years from now so it'll be you know 2026, 27 before this gets repotted. That's no word of a lie. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of a few surface roots here now. So let's do that. We're just getting rid of a few just so that we can bring the level of the soil down a bit just to expose some of these bases just a bit. Um, it's only been two and a half years, so there's not a lot of base to show. But some of them did have a good base before they did get put in here. This, you know, this dad tree at the back here is quite, was quite a big tree before it got chucked in. Unfortunately, dad at the back here, he got crammed into a small space. He got forgotten, which is, you know, pretty, pretty normal for dad to get forgotten and just get chucked into wherever he fits. But he's at the back here. He only had this tiny area around him, so he didn't get to grow much, but he's still super healthy super robust just like a dad should be but in this new pot he's going to have plenty of room to grow but we're just going to get rid of some surface stuff here not much just enough i don't want to jeopardize the health of this planting at all so we're not going to go silly on it we're going to rebury most of it and it'll probably be it'll probably be next time to be honest Next time that we repot in another five years or so, that we're going to really start exposing some really good root system. So for now, you know, we're just getting rid of some of the major ones, major little fluffy stuff, so that we can just raise it that little bit. But the idea of this is not really to raise it much; it's just to put it into a bigger pot, let it grow, let it get strong. Because back when I made this forest, you know. It's amazing how it didn't fit in here, really. But really, that's all I had. That's the only thing I had to put it into. So, that's why it went into such a small little pot. 
all those trees. I just looked back on the video then just to have a look how long ago. And it's amazing how many trees I fit into that one little pot when you go back and have a look. So I do suggest that you do that. Right, let's get the pot ready. So get ready guys for the new pot. Okay guys, big reveal. The cement pot that I made. It's got the screens in the bottom. I made this pot out of cement. Um, I'll try to get this video up before of making the cement pot before I do this actual repot, but we'll see how we go. And you can see the bottom turned out reasonably flat. I flattened that out as I made it, because I make it upside down. I flattened that out so that it would sit pretty still. And one commenter said that I never flattened it out, but that's just absolute crap. I did. Right. Get to it. Let's put some succulent mix in, put screens in. Now, one other thing I will say about this pot is I was humming and harring. Oh, damn. I got all this other stuff in my bag here from uh, repotting or potting up some uh, herbs and stuff yesterday for the garden bed. And I used some of my succulent mix. Now we've got all this rubbish coming out in here. So, you know, we might get a carrot or something growing in here. Might end up with a carrot and a bit of parsnip or a tomato plant growing in with the bonsai. Who knows? <laughs> anyway. Let's get rid of that. Right, I've got another bag. Another bag of cactus succulent mix. Absolutely fine for bonsai and buy this instead of their actual Osmocote bonsai mix because it's the bloody same and this stuff's a lot cheaper to buy than the actual bonsai mix and yet they make it exactly the same, there's no difference at all. Right, so I've got a good coverage in the bottom here. Right, maybe take a bit out. So as you can see, it's going to have a lot of room to grow into. Um, yeah, be, you know, be uh, nice to me as far as scrutinising my um, pot here because this is my first ever attempt at a cement pot and I had to paint it and all that sort of stuff. So, you know. No one's an expert the first time. Whoa! Looks like one of the teenagers wants to move out. He's out of here. He's had enough. Well, sorry to tell you, mate, but you have to stay in the family home. No moving out for you yet, buddy. Put some more in. I felt like it was too deep in the pot. So we're going to put some more in. Bloody teenagers trying to escape all the time. I bet you stick around, mate. Another teenager trying to get outside there. Right, that's pretty good height. That is pretty good. Really cool. Absolutely cool. I think this pot actually suits this tree. This pot was actually made for this tree. When I first thought I would make a pot, I made it for this tree. I just used my arm to make the dimensions of the pot around about what I wanted when I did make it. If you haven't looked at it, I suggest you go back and have a look at it. Um, the making of the pot. I will actually put some more soil under it because I don't think it's quite high enough yet. And as you can see, it's going to have a lot to grow into. So yeah, I made this pot for this tree. Cement pot. And I know you're going to get people that say, okay, cement pot will crack and break, or there'll be too much lime leaching out from the cement. But we'll see how we go, you know. See how we go. I'm not too worried. 
If lime leaches out, well, olives actually don't mind a bit of lime anyway, so who cares? That's a pretty good height. It's a really good height. Right, so let's do that. Move that a little bit more forward because the back doesn't quite have enough room for Dad back there and we don't want to squash Dad in again. We want to give him a lot of room to grow this time. Dad's going to have a lot of room. And this bloody teenager at the back, well, guess what, mate? You can get back in there and stop his sooking. You can learn to live with the rest of the family, mate. Don't be such a silk. Get in there and get along. <laughs> ah, that's good fun. All oh, good fun. Right, so basically now we're just going to pack around the sides with the so with the soil with the soil with the soil. So we're going to pack around the sides, get it to a nice height. Then we're going to moss it, and then I'll just uh, you know clean the pot up a bit and hopefully do a final spin. So basically I'm just going to go around, I do need to get myself some stainless steel scoops so I can feed the soil in better because I'm spilling it all in all the cracks of this pot and making the pot look dirty and ugly before I've even used it. But the idea is just to put the soil in, push it in with my fingers, I don't use no fancy chopsticks or anything like that. Never have, probably never will, and I've never had a problem with the health of my trees, so there you go. Another myth busted with bonsai. And leaving the heart of the tree alone and not individually cleaning out every single root on the tree, I think strengthens the tree because you're not going in there and completely excavating all the soil every time and mucking around with all the um, you know, little hair feeder roots that you can't even see because they're so microscopic that when you go in there and clean the whole thing out completely, you're actually getting rid of a heap of microscopic roots that you don't even know about. I've just got to push this teenager back in here, make sure he's fine. Bloody sook. You need to go and see a shrink, mate. Bloody sook of a tree. Go and see a shrink. It's what teenagers seem to do these days. They all go and see a shrink. Doesn't seem to do them any good because they got to keep going back for visits and they never seem to get any better. But, you know, we'll see how you go back here, buddy. See how you go. In fact, I actually think most shrinks are actually mentally unstable anyway. <laughs> That's my opinion. Most of the shrinks I know actually Probably more unstable than the people they're trying to treat. Don't know whether that's a general generalisation or what, but it seems to be the go. But don't worry. People feel good about themselves going to see a shrink. That's up to them. I certainly won't be doing one. Won't be uh, going to see a shrink anytime soon. I'd rather go and have a look at the bottom of a bottle. Of scotch and go and see a shrink. Okay, we're getting pretty good here, so we're almost ready to um, think about mossing her up. I know we got a bit deep and personal here in this video, I wasn't expecting to, but there you go, the joys of Aussie Bonsai bloke. We get to go, you know, full on DM at times into some really really some really random some really random subjects or pretty random subjects if I start around the right way like I've told you before I'm dyslexic so my words get mixed up backwards and forwards and whatever whatever way you want to talk about right so we got the soil in and around I'm gonna moss it and then I've got to I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I've got to um, wash out the soil in the actual pot before I show it. Because I don't want to, um, 
I don't want to do the final spin with all this soil and all these cracks of this new pot. It's my first attempt at a cement pot, so like I said before, be kind to me. Please don't give me too hard a time. It's my first ever attempt at a cement, decent cement pot. I did make a, a moulded cement pot once, but that's completely different to this style. Anyway, it was good fun. I'll stop rambling on, get some moss on this tree, give you guys a spin on the way out, and we'll be done. No worries, cheers. Just wanna take it out, give it a quick wash, put some moss on it, and give you a spin on the way out. So you can see, we've got a bit of dirt over everything, we'll go and wash it out and get some moss going. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we got in this cement pot and it fit in there pretty well. Um, oh, one thing I did forget to say before is I did originally make this for this this pot for this tree as a bit of an experiment. Um, I hope you guys, you guys, if you haven't watched it, will go back and have a look at that video because it is pretty cool. It won't go for too long. Um, not a lot of talking, just you know, you've got to read the, the text on the screen. But, anyway, what I was going to say is, in one of the last videos, I was toying with putting this pot on the ash tree. The big ash tree. And I've decided, because that's in spring next year, I'll just make a new pot for that tree. So I'm going to make a different pot for that tree probably one more suited towards a single tree rather than the landscape. Um, this pot, well, it started out to have to look like a, uh, you know, like a log or something, but it's probably turned into more like a stone look. I don't know. I don't even know what it looks like, but I think it does look pretty cool for a first attempt anyway. So anyway, first attempt at a pot. So I'll give you guys a bit of a spin now. I've got it all mossed up. I've got it in its pot and it's going to stay here for another five odd years, depending on where the pot cracks. A lot of people say that my pot will crack to pieces. It does have fiberglass tape in the middle of all this cement. Um, weight wise, I know there'll be a lot of people ask, how much does it weigh? Um, it's, you know, it's heavy. Probably this whole lot, how we're looking at it now is 30 to 40 kilos. Um, I'll just show you how how easy or hard it is for me to lift. Okay, so it's heavy, but it's not impossible. So, you know, wouldn't want to lift it all day, but you know, short lifts across to different spots, it's fine. Right. Anyway, I'll give you guys a spin on the way out. I'll give you a spin first, and then I'll give you a good look up into the canopy because it does look pretty cool. And then imagine in the middle of the trees, pitching your tent, rolling out your swag, having a fire, putting your deck chairs out. It'd be a pretty cool spot to camp. Cheers, so let's give it a spin on the way out on Adrian Eggleton's massive turntable. And yeah, anyway, let's see how this pot goes over time. But cheers for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your mates about the channel. Really appreciate everyone's comments. And yeah, keep watching, keep commenting. I love it all. Cheers.
Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Look at this teenager at the back that fell out. Look how much bloody room he gets. Why do teenagers always get most of the space? Just ridiculous. And Dad's got a good amount of space here now too, so Dad's happy. Let's have a look up in this canopy. If you can imagine yourself camping in the middle there. And you can look up into this canopy of trees. I wished I could get my camera in there better, but you know. You can imagine camping in there. Sun coming around. Going around the back during the day. And just having that nice canopy to protect you from the elements and the wind. Okay guys, cheers. Um, I suppose we should go back to the front before we say goodbyes, but once again guys, thanks very much for everything. All your comments, all your watching, it means a lot. And have a great day. Cheers.